Well, more recently, Carol Malone tweeted, because of the storyline that you just done, just watch last night's Corrie. What the hell are stupid shock jock prog bosses doing having uh, <laughs> storylines? I, I don't know, you. it might it's be me. you. I think that's a she A means. bloke raping another bloke who's out of his head on drugs. This used to be a funny, entertaining series. So are you a stupid shock jock prog boss? <laughs> Yes, no. Um, no, to be honest with you, I think that that is really, really taking the point uh, so far because if you actually watched Friday night's episode, it wasn't shocking at all. Uh, what you saw in that episode is David Platt, who um, has had a really complicated life, who has had no father figure for a long time, whose brother just walked out, who is notoriously uh, sardonic and funny, but actually doesn't talk about his feelings very much, become friends with somebody who took advantage of him. You saw somebody put a drug in his drink. That's a really important message because that happens far too often. You saw him put his trust in somebody and at the very end of the episode, you saw a door close. So it's not cover your eyes, children. Yeah, we're raising adult themes and important themes, but we're not going overly shocking for the sake of it. And actually the storyline that plays out is much more about David's mental health. It's mm. about what happens when you bottle up something traumatic that's happened to you and when it's the inability to talk about it that really, really, you know, is the major threat. And that will be played out across his domestic settings, it will be played out across his relationship with his girlfriend, yeah. with his mother, with his children. It's not about shocking visuals. And we absolutely, you know, we're pre-Watershed. We're heavily complied. We read every script very, very carefully and make our decisions very carefully on what we show. And so I think that what the lovely Carol has said there, I kind of think that she's sort of... Um, perhaps sort of waving a bit of a flag because it's de rigueur at the moment rather than actually watching the programme with the greatest respect. Thank you very much can't say further than that. Well made, yes. thank you. Thank you very um, much. We look forward to the comedy as well. <laughs> it is there, I promise. Yeah. Thank, thank you very, you very much, much indeed, you. Kate.